Hi to all of you subscribers and everybody else the remaining social networks, it's Six Dark King and today we are going to do another last watch. Today, well it's Death Battle Aces vs Natsu. Yeah, Natsu's gonna eat Ace, literally. <laughs> Still, it's gonna be fun to see it. I mean, don't get me wrong, Ace is really strong, I seen one piece. And, but Natsu isn't affected by fire, period, so yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. And play. Hey Mark. Hey Mr. J. So I know doing all this merch marketing, like these three awesome Death Battle t-shirts, can get kind of stressful. So we added some new office amenities that I think will help take the edge off. Like the new office <laughs> <laughs> This Thanks. again? You ever smelled a wet sloth before? Alright, maybe a relaxing massage then. Yeah, I got a fear of hands. Alright, how about a nice hot sauna? It's a fucking toast oven, Chad. <laughs> I'm Mark Sothman, and now I got the sexiest shirt in the market. Death Battle Shirts. You wear this, you're gonna find yourself in a sex battle. I don't know what that is, but I know you'll love it, okay? Now click the link below and buy this shirt, or they're gonna eat me. Still, so, it's funny. Anyway. In ancient times, the Greeks believed everything to be made of four elements. Earth air, water, and the most difficult to control, fire. But these two combatants have mastered the art of playing with fire. Natsu Dragneel, the dragon slayer mage of the fairy tale guild. And Portcus D. Ace, the feared pirate known as Fire Fist. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. In his so, infancy, that's his first. Natsu Dragneel was a pretty normal child living in a pretty normal village. And then a bunch of dragons toasted the town and killed everybody, including him. The end. <laughs> Almost. Fortunately, Natsu's older brother, Zeref, survived. Horrified by the violent fate of his family, Zeref desperately sought a way to revive Natsu. Eventually, he discovered the connections between life, death, and magic, and became obsessed. And so he became the most evil and powerful mage ever, cursed to live forever and ruin everyone's lives. Yeah, but pretty much. Everything worked out, I guess, because he brought Natsu back. Just one catch Natsu had to be revived as a demon, though this gave him the potential to become even more powerful than Zeref. Unfortunately, Zeref had become incredibly dangerous to be around. Fearing for his brother's safety, he left Natsu in the care of his friend Igniel, who just so happened to be the Fire Dragon King. Natsu got adopted by a freaking dragon. Yeah. Kinda weird since That's awesome, dragon actually. killed him in the first place and his family, but whatever. Dragon Dad ended up teaching little Natsu Dragon Slayer Magic, a school of mystical martial arts developed specifically to kill dragons. Wait, man, it's really back and forth with these dragons, isn't it? Regardless, Igniel eagerly accepted his role as adoptive father. He taught Natsu how to read, write, and fight. But then, when Natsu came of age, Igniel suddenly sent him through a time machine, and poof! Before he knew it, Natsu was trapped 400 years in the future, and abandoned by the only father figure he ever really knew. I know that feel, little buddy. <laughs> I know that feel. Of course, it was all part of Igniel's plan to save the world, but at the time, Natsu didn't know that. Fortunately, it wasn't long before he found a new home and family among the mercenaries of the Fairy Tale Guild. Yeah, turns out being a demon trained by a goddamn dragon made Natsu pretty effective as a bounty hunter. Natsu possesses superhuman speed, impressive strength, and unbelievable durability. He has superior senses, such as sight and smell, along with a mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Mix all that up with his fire dragon slayer magic, and you got one fiery cocktail that'll knock just about anybody on their ass. As the name suggests, fire dragon slayer magic revolves around conjuring and manipulating fire. A prime example would be Natsu's signature move, the Fire Dragon's Roar. Where he literally shoots fire from his mouth. Or he can engulf his hand in flames for the devastating Fire Dragon's Iron Fist. You know, we're gonna be saying fire a lot this episode. Yep. <laughs> Natsu has well over two dozen different ways to incorporate fire into his martial arts, but his real strength comes from a move nobody ever really expects. Uh, yeah. He eats fire. Like all mages in the fairy yes. tale world, Natsu has a limited pool of magic, but consuming fire actually replenishes it. Not only that, he can consume a few different types of elemental magic as well, including lightning. 
Talk about a shocking appetite. And yeah. because this is anime, eating lightning gives Natsu access to an all new form, Lightning Fire Dragon. With this, Natsu's abilities are enhanced with electricity, giving him a brand new element of power. To increase his fire abilities, it was Natsu actually, can enter it was dragon some fight, actually. This greatly increases his Dragon Slayer magic and physical prowess, bringing Natsu closer to the strength of a full grown dragon. He's even starting to look like a dragon now. You think that's like an awful dramatic reminder when he looks at himself? But when his Dragon Slayer abilities aren't enough, Natsu enters his strongest mode yet, Fire Dragon King Mode. In this form, Natsu has access to techniques only the most powerful uh, of dragons can wield, such thing. as the Demolition Fist and the Fire Dragon King's Roar. At his strongest, he can wipe out exactly 973 soldiers all at once and create massive explosions so big they could wipe out a whole town. Natsu's raw power is extraordinary, both magically and physically. He's strong enough to lift an enormous stone slab several times larger than himself. Comparing this stone to Natsu's height and compensating for the density of the stone, it's likely this block weighs about 135 tons. Damn! Talk about never skipping arm day! He's also fast. He's fought in multiple battles where he's moved faster than the eye can see, putting him well over 9,000 miles per hour. And when fighting opponents even faster than him, Natsu has used his keen observational skills and indomitable willpower to predict their moves and defeat them. He's pretty clever in battle, which is surprising given how headstrong and stubborn he can be. Like any real fighter, Natsu prioritizes offense over defense, running in guns or, I guess, arms blazing. Except this impulsive approach to fighting often leaves massive amounts of collateral damage in his wake. Remember how we mentioned his firepower could wipe out a whole town? Well, sometimes that's not completely intentional. In <laughs> fact, this hasty attitude may be his greatest weakness. Nah, his greatest weakness is how easily he gets motion sick. Put him on a moving car or boat and he'll be hurling in a matter of seconds. <laughs> that flying cat following him around should start carrying vomit bags. Yeah, that's one of the stranger downsides of Dragon Slayer magic. Natsu's dragon-like senses can overload his semicircular canals, creating a feeling <laughs> similar to vertigo. But more importantly, Damn. Natsu has a bad habit of burning through his available magic rather quickly. Yeah, but who cares? He can just chow down on some tasty flames or lightning to replenish his magic. Just one problem. Consuming any fire or lightning that Natsu has created himself will not replenish his reserves. Huh. Oh well, Natsu's still a badass. He really is the Fairy Tail Guild's trump card for whenever things go south. And he continues to fulfill his old dragon dad's wish of making the world a safer place by setting it on fire. <laughs> I think it's time we stop playing around. Let's get down to the real fight. I'm gonna shatter you into a million pieces. Okay, well, Ace. Fame, power, gold, You're going rock, to be in to pretty much everything, everything that's can throw at you, but you can't hurt him either. Leaving everyone to run off searching for the king's long this is gonna be a fun episode. However, unknown to most, Roger left behind an heir, albeit unborn. Terrified the Marines would execute Roger's son as well, the child's mother held her pregnancy for a total of 20 months. 20 months! You know, Holy because that anime. Hell. <laughs> How does that even happen? Sheer inconceivable willpower. Though she died in childbirth, her last act was to give her newborn son his name, Porcus D. Ace. D. Soon after, Ace was adopted by an old acquaintance of his father, Go Monkey D. Ace, D. Garth, hey, and raised alongside Monkey D. Luffy and his childhood friend, Sabo. Over time, Ace, Luffy, and Sabo grew very close, considering themselves brothers and together forging a lifelong pact. They would forever live life as free as possible. And for Ace, that meant following in his father's footsteps. Oh, it so he's about to be 550? Like for him. Huh. Ace I didn't was a know natural that. on the sea, thanks to his incredible strength and combat aptitude. He quickly learned his way around the ocean, becoming the captain of his own ship in just a year's time, and eventually joining the ranks of the deadliest pirates around. He even claimed one of the world's most sought-after treasures, a devil fruit. I love you. In the One Piece world, if you eat yourself a devil fruit, you get yourself a superpower. In Ace's case, he ate the Flame Flame Fruit, which, guess what? Granted him the power to create and control fire. But with new power comes a buttload of badass new ways to kill people. <laughs> Get this, this guy's gun hands are actually handguns. I mean, I guess that's accurate. That would be Ace's fire gun ability, and it's just one of many attacks that Flame Flame Fruit's power provides. 
Man, I love my gun leg and all, but now I think I really need me some gun hands to go along with it. Boomstick, sometimes I really, really wonder about where you came from. The front door, like every day. Come on, we have to pay attention. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, these fire abilities are what earned him the nickname Fire Fist Ace. Because he can turn his punches into blazing balls of red hot fire. Forget gun hands, give me some of that! Manipulating fire comes easy to Ace. He can conjure up enormous pillars of flame so intensely heated they can incinerate enemy projectiles, acting as a sort of fire shield. He's also got some really weird names for his attacks, like Firefly, Fiery Doll, and St. Elmo's Fire. Man, when did Elmo become a saint? <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, that's referencing weather phenomena, where plasma appears to discharge a top-appointed object. Ace's oh. version is not like that at all. Instead, he conjures up two javelins made of pure fire and hurdles them through enemies, burning them inside and out. Yeah, I'm gonna go with his version. Firefly and Fiery Doll is a combination attack where he creates several small balls of green plasma which surround a foe before detonating in a massive series of explosions. He does have one attack with a really cool name though. Oh, what's that? Crossfire, you get caught up in the crossfire, <laughs> crossfire! Of course. However, Ace's most oh, powerful attack is undoubtedly his great flame commandment, Flame Emperor. Which is a pretty big name for what is essentially a fiery spirit bomb. But good god, if you see that thing coming your way, don't even bother trying to run. You dead. There's even more. See, the devil fruit Ace discovered was of a rare breed, a Logia fruit. Because of this, Ace also gained the ability to transform his entire body into fire. When he's in flame on mode, physical attacks pass right through him like he isn't even there. And if his fire body is somehow messed up, like someone dropping a giant candle snuffer on him, his true human body would be totally unaffected. Actually, since receiving this power, Ace has only been badly hurt by other Logia users wielding an element with an inherent advantage over fire, such as magma or water. Man, it's like he's invincible! In a way, but it's not an automatic defense. Ace must make the conscious decision to transform his body. But thanks <laughs> to his blindingly quick reflexes, he's able to avoid almost any attack. He can even react quick enough to avoid a shot from a sniper. In this instance, he was reacting to the gunman in view. Assuming this gunman was professionally trained, Ace would have needed to react in about a quarter of a second. But who needs speed when your fire fist can blow apart five ships all at once? Considering ships like these would likely be constructed of teak wood, to accomplish this, Ace would need to hit each ship with at least 15,000 pounds of force per square inch. So getting hit by Ace would be like getting hit with a wrecking ball. And when he throws more fire into the mix, he can wipe out an entire town. Ace's last extraordinary quality actually has little to do with fire at all. If there's anything he inherited from his mother, it's his insane willpower and endurance. He once fought a karate fishman for five straight days. Man, with that endurance, he's gonna make some lucky lad or lady real happy someday. Or, I guess he would have if he didn't. Oh, hey, heads up. Huge spoiler warning in three, two, one. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Like, totally dead. Like many Logia users, Ace grew cocky in his ability to avoid being hit. In fact, he practically forgot what pain even felt like. And so, despite all of Ace's fantastic feats, his most impressive was when, for once, he chose to take a hit, sacrificing himself to save his brother, Luffy. Damn, would you do that for me, Wiz? Hmm? Oh, oh sure, of course. You're a goddamn liar. <laughs> I can't allow that. I'll take care of this on my own! Alright, the combatants are okay. set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of chowing down and the here we go. flames is making me hungry. Blue Apron again. Blue Apron again. Anyway, while the ad is on the backs. Uh, Anyway, this is a tough one because, let's face it, Natsu can't actually hit Ace. The flare, flash fruit doesn't. Is it affected by fire? Period. Lightning? Not really. We never saw him going up against er Enel, but I don't think uh, lightning and fire have much to do with each other. So. He can hit. Natsu can hit fire. That's why I said, yeah, he's probably going to hit Ace. Because Natsu can't get hurt by fire, neither can Ace. So yeah. 
I can't see this ending any other way other than well, it's guess it's guess it's shout down. Period. There's some, but hey, seriously, you will love how you know. I wonder if Nuts would get the flare flare fruit if he, you know, eight eggs. <laughs> okay, this is getting morbid, but <laughs> anyway, let's see what happens. Hey, you! Thief! Come back here! <laughs> of course it is. Give that back, or you'll have to deal with me! <laughs> nah. That's it! I'm gonna mess you up! Fire! Fire Dragon Sword Horn! <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you seriously made of fire? Don't work! Time to turn up the heat! Fire Dragon King Roar! Well, wow, that was fast. Fire Dragon King Demolition Fist! Fire Fist! Well, no bad out. outshot, but you can't even touch me. Fire Blast! Oh, no. Fiery doll. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you seriously eating fire? <laughs> Try eating this! Like I said, you can't touch me. I'm not trying to. Lightning Dragon Fire Mode! Lightning Fire Dragon Roar! Seriously. Phew. All's well that ends well. <laughs> oh! You! That's a burn if I ever saw one. This battle was anything but clear-cut. Natsu held the advantage in speed and strength, and Ace trumped him in endurance and defense. Still, neither held an advantage so much that the other couldn't keep up. Both were mostly immune to each other's fire attacks. Because fire is Ace's only real weapon, this means he really didn't have anything that could kill Natsu. Natsu was definitely strong enough to put Ace down, but with Ace's intangible fire form, Natsu couldn't even touch him. So, sounds like a stalemate. Very nearly. Luckily for Natsu, he had an ace in the hole. Hey, thanks, one. Oh, thanks. Natsu has had far more combat training than Ace, and is known for using his superior senses to study his opponents and take advantage of their vulnerabilities. My curses can change anyone stupid enough to touch me into a living bomb. No matter what I try, this human just consumes my curses. He might even be stronger than he was when this fight started. When Ace realized Natsu could eat fire, he had to become more liberal with his true physical form to avoid being consumed. And this was what Natsu was counting on. Being faster than the eye can track, Natsu was more than quick enough to get a good hit in up close. A perfect opportunity to use a fast, deadly elemental weapon Ace's body wasn't immune to. Lightning. It's yeah. not like Natsu was gonna run out of magic or anything. I mean, there's freaking fire everywhere. As his speed, strength, martial arts, and versatility surpassed Ace, all Natsu needed was one good shot, and he made it happen. In the end, when Natsu was established that Ace is not immune to is fire. Natsu Dragnail. I mean, Shout out Blue Boomstick. I'm Ben on Blue Wiz, and stick around, we're well, about to announce sick. who fights next time. And if you want to watch exclusive commentary on this episode, click that little box, sign up for a first membership trial, it's a great way to support the show. Anyway, who's next? Scorpio? Uh, who are you? Oh. 
Glacius. Cool. Again, why was it established that Ace Devilfruit couldn't uh, withstand lightning? I mean, darkness and love I get, but when was lightning a thing? I mean, seriously. I don't know where that com came from. Well, other than that, it was a rather short fight. What shorter than usual? Well, granted, most of the episode was... Yeah, uh, it was... This is why I... Like, what? Two and a half minutes? Yeah, that was fast. Huh. Odd. Anyway, one fact I didn't saw coming, and I don't know where it came from, period, and uh, a short fight. Huh. Well, this was underwhelming. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed this so far. Until next time, I'll see you around. Ta-ta!